I want to give a shout to all you smart asses out there. You know, um, I was thinking about this today. The the Egyptians of ancient times would have um, probably worshipped Trump and the whole uh, White House staff because they did worship dung beetles. Yeah, we're still at that stage where we get up in the morning and start wondering, what the fuck is he gonna do next? It's not boring. It certainly isn't. It's destructive. He's definitely got the King Baby Syndrome. Something I know a little about. But I'm retired. Um, you know, I, I wonder, I, I've never really been informed with regard to executive orders, but it seems like he's uh, bypassing the Congress and the Senate, but they're worthless as a piece of shit, quite frankly. Um, I keep advising people if you don't like it, you know, email whatever politician is pissing you off. Call their office. Get your friends to call their office. But, you know, nobody really wants to to go out and get any, you know, get things done. I was walking down um, one of the main drags. Actually, it's US-1 in Greenwich. And there's all kinds of snow on the sidewalk. Now, you have to understand that I've spent a lot of time in underdeveloped neighborhoods where they don't shovel, and that's okay. But in Greenwich, this woman of considerable refinement, and she had absolutely the perfect hair, perfect jewelry, you know, matching boot and jacket, and she had her cell phone in her hand, and she said to me, you look like someone of good breeding. Call the police. Call the city and tell them the sidewalk is not shoveled. Well, I did it for her. I really did, because I'm like, she's taking action. It's like people all the time that bitch about the potholes but they never call the mayor's office. It's like those who want to win a million dollars but never buy a lottery ticket. You get in the trend of this? You've got to take initial action. Um, now, for those of you that uh, create sigils, and for those of you who don't and don't know what it is, look it up. Um, you know... You know how to do it. You know how to affect the magic to change things. So why aren't you? You know, you can look up which candles to light, what shit to burn, etc. But you have to get up to do it. Now, I'm crazy enough to get up to do it. And now that I'm a solo act, I've got a lot of time on my hands to create magic and to write and to engage people. And, you know, I happen to be fortunate here at the House of Love with having people all the time to talk to about everything from science, uh, electronics, art, um, literature. And, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely opened my mind. Um, there is somebody that, I'm very fond of, and I have, you know, some communication with him now. Um, and, you know, that just, it makes me feel good because I don't feel alone in that emotional, intimate sense. And it uh, makes me a lot nicer. But, um, you know, you've got to take action. You've got to do something. Um, and even if, it's just writing a letter or sending an email, just one, that's contributing to the cause. And if you get other people to do it, that's contributing. It's putting out the sacred ripple. Okay, 
this is, I don't know if people remember the VO5 commercial, but you know, you tell two friends, they tell two friends and so on and so on and so on. So the sacred ripple is basically you cast the stone, um, not literally, because you can get arrested for that, but that ripple hits the other stones that are, you know, protruding through the water. And then they send out ripples, etc. You know, um, chain letters don't usually work in the literal sense, but that's because people are expecting that scumbag Rothschild's money. And I'm not going to go into the whole thing of that right now, but our money is worthless. And actually... They charge interest on worth, worthlessness. And I'm sorry, it is tax time. And once again, I have to tell you, Santa is dead. All of your income tax goes to pay the interest on the debt. In other words, the money we owe those cocksuckers in Europe, the control of the banks, um, none of your tax dollars go for schools or libraries or medicine. That's taken care of by property taxes and tolls and tariffs and all that happy horse shit. But just so you know, when you fill it, when you agonize over your income tax every year, you are paying the interest on the debt. And it is that time of year when people are starting to stress because their W-2s haven't come in the mail, etc. You know, be informed about these things. I mean, you know, first of all, the IRS is not a part of the government. Um, they're a separate entity, which is why they don't care when people pay their taxes and for occupation, they put drug dealer, prostitute, whatever. The IRS could care less. They just want their money, their worthless money, which goes back in the till, so they get to hold on to this money and create false senses of inflation or actual inflation, uh, artificial depressions, etc. The table's rigged. Now think about this, okay? They produce the money, and they put it out there. And then when they tax you, they get the money back. And then they have all this money that's worthless. Actually, it's even more worthless because there's an interest payment on all of it. So the money goes back to this big vault. And so they have all the money. I'm serious. They have all the money. So um, when they want to put people out of their homes, etc., you know, they deal they play with the interest rates and all of that. And so what happens is, you know, you know, favorable conditions are put out there for people to buy homes and then those bastards just pull it in. You know, and uh you know, unemployment comes into play. Um, you know, banks advise people to take second mortgages. Yeah, and it's making a lot of people homeless. Um, I don't know why people are surprised with the Trump presidency. Truly, I don't. I don't like it, but I don't know why people are surprised with it. It is pretty fucked up. But anyway, um, just don't surrender to it, you know? Take care of those things that will keep you out of jail. And, and that's really important. But at the same time, don't take crap. You know, do what you can to affect change. Now, you know, you can affect change in the slightest ways. And like I said, one email, one email, it's one more than you've written. One letter. That's more than you've written. One phone call. It's more than you've written. Drive like Miss Daisy to when the congressman comes back to the district. 
You can't throw rotten vegetables at them. That's assault and under the Patriot you know, yeah. But you can tell them uh, how you feel, and that's what people should do. They should go and tell their elected representatives how they feel. So anyway, that's my rant for the night. And believe it or not, I'm sober. I'm just in a lot of pain right now. And so I'm, I'm trying to get things out quickly so people understand them. And for those people early on in my association with a lot of the communities that thought um, I was a buffoon, I wanted you to. And I'm sorry for the deception. We're going to work on some great things. And I'm dead serious about this. It's time we stood up. And no, I don't want to run for office. I can do a lot more outside of that. And there are other people that like me, my fellow internet jocks, etc. You know, I mean, talk radio and, and talk YouTube, etc. can't do everything. You know, and and yeah, um, Rush Limbaugh is a bloviator, and I guess that makes me a bloviette. So, I love you guys, and be good to each other, and have a wonderful life. Bye now.